It's fair to say that there isn't too much going on currently within Red Dead Online. We've had no updates within the last eight months, no communication from Rockstar, and it looks like none of this is going to change anytime soon. Before we do get into the video though, I want to let you know about a project that I've been working on. It's no secret that I've created a lot of gaming channels and because I've created so many, I know how to get them partnered in about one to two months without needing to promote them on other social media accounts. And I always get asked, how do I do it? That's why I've created an in-depth class on Skillshare. It goes through the basics of creating a new YouTube channel, but it quickly scales up into doing keyword research, planning videos, recording, editing, creating thumbnails, and eventually getting monetized, where you can actually start running your YouTube channel like a business by outsourcing the work. If you're interested in having your own gaming channel, then there is a link in the description down below, as well as you can find it as the pinned comment. And that will give you a free month of Skillshare where you can use that time to watch through my class. And at the end of it, you will understand everything that you need to know. So link to everything can be found in the description down below. Getting back into the video, questions around the future of this game are constant on this channel. We get questions such as, will there be new updates in the future? Does Rockstar see the potential of Red Dead Online? And what will happen if Rockstar announces they will no longer be supporting Red Dead Online? All of these are reasonable questions and within this video i'm going to try my best to answer every single one of them just so that we're all on the exact same page the blood money update was released on the 13th of july 2021 and we're only three and a half months away from this date again within 2022 that will be a full year of this game with no new content the reason for this no one actually 100 percent knows for sure most people are assuming that they delayed Red Dead Online updates to prioritize the GTA Trilogy and the GTA Expanded and Enhanced. It's actions like this that Rockstar take which make other players think that Rockstar only cares about the money. That's why they're going to focus more on GTA rather than Red Dead because GTA is able to make a lot more. And we can all agree that Rockstar will do everything in their power to pretty much rip you off. But I should also highlight that there still is no correlation between Red Dead Online updates being released and Rockstar or Take-Two making less money. In fact, they're making more than ever since the release of Red Dead within 2018. This now happens because people that were actively throwing money at GTA Online, that didn't stop with the release of Red Dead. Now, they have an option. They could either throw it at GTA or Red Dead, and in a lot of cases, it ends up them throwing money at both. The only real time that GTA was prioritized was the moment they got way too greedy by releasing the GTA Trilogy and GTA Expanded and Enhanced. This is where they overscoped and this is the one occasion where they would make more money focusing on these GTA re-releases rather than pushing an update to Red Dead Online. So just to clear up these facts, yes, Rockstar still prioritizes GTO over Red Dead. We see this from the recent actions, but at the exact same time with updates, if GTA and Red Dead were both to get updates in a year, it makes no difference of which one gets more attention because Rockstar is able to make money from both at the exact same time. It has no effect on their bottom line if Red Dead Online gets an update released at the exact same time as GTA. It doesn't affect the amount of money being poured in from players into GTA Online. So with all of this in mind, I do still believe that there will be an update within the future. Red Dead Online is still very profitable. Rockstar are not making a loss by pushing updates. It's just in this case that they were able to make a lot more money from the release of the GTA Trilogy and the Expanded and Enhanced, and we can see this through recent reports. Despite the GTA Trilogy being a complete buggy mess, it still significantly exceeded expectations, with reports saying that they've had over 10 million sales. With the price of $45 per game, yeah, you could really see how much money was made just for the release of the GTA Trilogy. 
with the next gen version of GTA 5, we haven't had a reliable source at the time of recording this video, which actually tells us how many copies have been sold. But we do know when it was released, it did top the charts. And let's just say that they've probably made a lot out of that as well. The money that came from both of these releases far exceeds how much Rockstar would be able to make if they released the Red Dead Online update. That's not me defending them, that's me highlighting the facts. I still think they're in the wrong because they overscoped with all the different projects that they were planning to release this year. But now that they are all released, this is the point in which Rockstar is going to be looking for that next money maker. And of course, it is Red Dead Online. With every update that does get released, Rockstar are able to make more money from it than the money that was initially put in to put together the update. And I'm hoping that we will be going back to the original schedule where we get one in the summer and one at Christmas. With all of that said, I don't think Rockstar is going to be apologetic and put together a massive update that fans have been asking for just to get back into the swing of things. I still have low expectations with the content that is yet to come. From all the rumors, because all studios had to prioritize the trilogy and the next gen version of GTA 5, everything just immediately stopped. Any projects that were within development, which would include what we was supposed to have as a Christmas update, all of that was put on pause. But now that everything has been released, we're talking about those that were originally working on their projects for Red Dead, now having to go back to start where they last left off. And even though they're not starting at zero, it should be highlighted that it is difficult to get back into things. If you've ever worked on a project before and then taken several months break just for you to come back straight after, you will understand how difficult it is to find where you last left off. This may lead to some of that content that was initially scheduled to be for Christmas of 2021 and even the summer update of 2022, some of it being cut and probably even pushed back to a later date. So I do have low expectations with this. It's also worth mentioning the new monetization model that Rockstar have introduced to GTA, GTA Plus. This is the new subscription model costing $5.99 and is supposed to give monthly benefits to those who sign up. This does include reoccurring money added to your account every month. The opportunity to claim properties in and around Los Santos to unlock gameplay updates which you may have missed out on. Special vehicle upgrades, member only discounts, GTA money and RP bonuses. Some have highlighted that this is just a test for GTA 6 and yes you are right but at the exact same time everything that has ever happened within a game studio is always there as a test and can be used as evidence for any game under development within the future. So this isn't really a new thing. Pretty much anything that happened within GTA 4 was there to influence GTA 5. Everything that happened in Red Dead Redemption was there to influence Red Dead Redemption 2. And would you believe it, it would cross over. There's things that happened within Max Payne, which you can also see as part of GTA and also Red Dead. It's not just a game series by game series basis, this happens all the time. Every release, you pretty much take something away from it, whether it be a way for you to manage your workflow, a way for you to monetize the game, or a way for you to add easy content. But how all of this links into Red Dead Online is that it's not a crazy thought for Rockstar to implement something like this just to maximize the most amount of money, especially considering they lost potential revenue after not releasing an update in December. It's not far-fetched for Rockstar to have a very similar subscription model which includes items of clothing that you may have missed out on, outlaw passes and quick draw club content that you may have missed right at the beginning getting re-released back into the game. Bonus money, bonus gold, all for the low price of $5.99 per month. And with how updates have gone over the last two years where everything has included a new way for Rockstar to make money out of you or there being gold bar nerfs, I would happily put my money on this saying that it is likely to happen when Rockstar does come back to re-release new content. And the final part for this video is what will happen if Rockstar does announce that they're no longer going to support Red Dead Online. Now I do want to make it clear that I don't think this is going to happen based on my previous points. There is still a lot of money to be made and even if Rockstar wasn't making money out of Red Dead Online, they will most certainly find a better way to monetize the game rather than just giving up. 
But let's just say hypothetically rockstar no longer wanted to support and they weren't looking for another way for them to monetize red dead this would mean that there will be no more weekly or monthly updates and of course that doesn't make too much of a difference anyway there will also be no more major updates that we get normally at the summer and also christmas time there'll be no more announcement no more teasers all content that was time limited will then be available for everyone to play and no surprise is likely that Rockstar will still allow you to spend your money to buy into microtransactions. This will be there so they're not making a loss running Red Dead Online on the current servers, but also for them to still be able to profit whilst doing none of the work. And of course, they will still be selling Red Dead Redemption 2 and the Red Dead Online standalone. Pretty much everything will be the same as what it currently is right now, except there's no thought whether or not within the future we may get any new content because we would know for certain that there's going to be no content. But with all of this said, I do still believe Rockstar are planning to come back to Red Dead Online one day. When is that going to be? I really don't know, but there is a lot of money to still be made. And with everything that the fan base is saying about Rockstar, we know that they cannot give up that money. I'm not expecting anything amazing for a comeback, but in all honesty, I said the exact same thing last year before the release of the Blood Money update, where I did tell you the truth of heist, also known as opportunities, coming to Red Dead Online. So this isn't a new thing on this channel. Do you believe that there is an update coming or are you someone that thinks that it's not going to happen? I'm curious about all your thoughts on the matter so leave them within the comment section. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.